I recently read I recently read an American scientist report which says that the extreme atmospheric pressure of Neptune, Uranus, Saturn, etc. can crystallize carbon atoms and turn them into diamonds. Is it true? How can it happen? So carbon comes in in a variety of forms. Let me show you what the forms are like. Carbon allotropes. Let's see. So these are the various allotropes of carbon. Let's take a look at this. So diamond, graphite, whatever this is, C60, Buckminster, fullerene, C540, C70, amorphous carbon, single-walled carbon nanotubes, <clears throat> and these various shapes. Right? So carbon exists in all of these different forms, which are called allotropes. Uh, so, how does diamond typically form? Diamond typically forms when you when you take a lump of carbon, let's say a lump of coal, and you exert an enormous amount of pressure on it. And when that happens, the carbon takes the, for, uh, for the form of diamond. That's what happens. So, diamond is just carbon. It's another form of coal, you could say. And it's formed in the interior of the planet where the uh, pressures are very high. Now, if you have a, bun a lump of carbon that exists, that you throw, let's say you take a lump of coal, a big lump of coal, you throw it at Jupiter. Jupiter is an enormous planet, we know that. Huge amount of uh, mass. And it is a gaseous planet. It doesn't have a surface. So you throw a lump of carbon at this planet, it's going to sink. It's going to go down deeper and deeper into the planet. And as it goes deeper into the interior of the planet, it's going to be, it's going to uh, it's going to experience atmospheric pressure that keeps rising as it goes as it goes deeper towards the center and eventually the atmospheric pressure is going to be so high that this lump of coal or carbon is going to be squeezed and it's going to turn into diamond yeah so that's typically something that would happen inside a massive planet like jupiter or saturn possibly even uranus or neptune which are also gas giants right so it is possible that over time, we know carbon is, is quite common in the solar system. Many of the asteroids have a lot of carbon on them. We know that. So, And we also know that asteroids go keep on hitting planets like Jupiter, Saturn, etc. from time to time. Asteroids, comets, etc. Right? So, so the, the solar system is a very, is a very old system. Uh, how old is it? Three and a half billion years old? Four and a half? I'm not sure. Whatever like that, whatever it is. It is billions of years old. And over these billions, billions of years, a planet like Jupiter or Saturn would have absorbed impacts from uncountable numbers of asteroids and comets. And the carbon in these objects would have sunk towards the center of the planet, Jupiter, and it would have crystallized into, into diamond. So it is quite likely that at the core of these gaseous planets, the gas giants like Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, Neptune, etc., it is quite likely that at the core you would have a massive amount of diamond. You may even have a fully diamond core. Possibly. Possibly. It's possible. So that's how it happens. Because of the enormous atmospheric pressure that squeezes carbon into its diamond allotrope. So it is quite likely that there is an enormous amount of diamond at, near the core or at the core of Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus and Neptune within our own solar system. Quite likely. Isn't that interesting?